withdrawal. It's a very serious thing. One that actually can lead to death, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> so, I may not look like it, but I actually went through withdrawal before. Yes. The great Kevin had been through, yeah, through it before. How the hell do you put this on? Sorry, I'm putting something on now. But it was, um, a very serious thing, my friends. Very serious thing. Oh, here's. And if you've never been through the draw before. You're lucky, because when I was, because when I worked out, because when, because last year, I, um, didn't overwork so much, right? I started to, um, why the fuck do I look like Grover from, um, from, uh, what's it called? Percy Jackson? I mean, look at this guy. I look like a goddamn Grover. Alright, but I'll be right back. <laughs> um, anyways. I would be drinking, I would, I would be overworked, right? Especially the last year. And I would be drinking, I would literally... I swear on my life that this is serious, guys. That I uh, would be drinking my energy drinks nonstop, and I mean all of them. Red Bull, Monster, mo mostly Monster, but you know. All the Red Bull, I mean all of the energy drinks out there, I would be drinking them nonstop. Like, uh, out, out, like my, mil my limit was uh, three a day, but sometimes I'd have five a day. Um, I, it was just sad. So, when I didn't have it, I would, like, that one day I didn't have it, right? I was, I had to call out of work because I was on the floor. I was violently shaking. Violently shaking. And... I mean I, I mean, I was vomiting and all that. I, I just couldn't. I just could not go to work. I just could not do anything, really. So, I was just laying there, guys. Just lying there. Sorry, I'm sorry guys, I have allergies. But yeah, I would just be lying there. And... Uh, and, uh, think about how much I, I hate life, right? So, while I was hating life, I was, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't think right now. Because of these dang allergies. Um, yeah, I was hating life. I was like, uh, uh. Well, I didn't want to move or anything. But, it, I mean, the, the bright side is because, because I had limitations, I was able to get very... I could, could have went, got through through it quickly. Like to prove how I got in, could have got in on it uh, through it quickly. I could have worked that that same day, uh, and uh, with only morning, I I call I call out of morning shift. Right, I I could have worked night shift. I really could have. 
I try to, you know, stay out for like two days just to make sure. But, uh, you know, I, the great Kevin is a savior of Bojangles, so I had, uh, you know, only had one day off. Oh, they called me in the same night too. I was like, hell no. Oh my god, how do I fucking put this on? Oh, find it. Did I find it? Find it, find it, find it. Okay, okay. Okay. I said, okay. Shut the hell up. Okay. So, yeah. That was it. That was introducing. But, but, da. Kevonia. Yeah. All right. Let's, all right. Let's begin my intro. What's up, guys? It's Working Kev here with another YouTube channel. YouTube, um, YouTube, uh, sorry, I'm really tired. YouTube video. And today we're going to be talking about the, um, zombie apocalypse. So I was just online and apparently there's a contingent 88, which is where the, which is the U.S. military has, um, you know, a plan for this, not surprising, because why, why not, uh, um, and I am going to, um, say, I'm not going to speak bad about it, I'm not, but it's, but they have, I believe, 10 different types of zombies, uh, let's see, there was, what are the 10 types of zombies that the U.S. military lists? Hmm, I don't know that. Okay, there was. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me a sec. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, there was magical. There was alien. There was radioactive, and then there was a f a few others. My dude, my dudes and dudettes. Give me one sec while I try to find it. I really wish I could, um, you know, uh, what do you call? I really wish I could time skip, but I'm sorry, guys. Just give me one second. Uh, I, I feel like the, the fact that I don't time skip, that, that makes, that, um, what do you call? That, uh, helps out, really, because, you know, it's really behind the scenes for everything. <laughs> Uh, zombie, COVID, uh, surprising zombie, who survived 2019 zombie apocalypse. Policing is good for a zombie apocalypse, I would say yes. I mean, my <sighs> schools, I would say, also say yes. The survive Resident Evil's T virus. I mean, that pretty much is a zombie apocalypse. I'm sorry. While I'm talking about this, let me uh, say my own uh, thing about about. Let me say, tell tell you guys my opinion about where to go for if you're in a zombie apocalypse. Um, if you like house, a house would be a great way to great way uh place to fortify because you you already know the house ever. Like the back of your hand, um, in every house, like somehow, uh, in while every house may be different inside and out, they're really just the same. So, I mean, even in, so, uh, most houses can, I do believe, can, can survive a horde because you just think about, uh, just think about what's the name, um. TWC or the fear of TWC. Uh, uh, even though that like house, some houses, it's been like what twenty years, I think. For uh, there comes a time in every teenage boy's life. Tonight's the secret party. This could be the night of our lives when he begins testing his limits. Some house, like, I'm sorry, I'm, 
Yeah. I'm confronted right, right now. I mean, not confronted. I'm right. talking to girls. Costume party? No. I'm a scout. Like an actual scout? Yeah. <laughs> For these best friends tonight. <laughs> okay, let me stop. As I was saying, it's the house, the school, the um, let's see, house, school, um, I would say police department, um, really anywhere you can fortify, but that isn't, you know, too big, too big or too small. Somewhere that has a great place where, uh, you can, if they don't, if they can't, um, if you can't build a farm, then be near a farm. If you can't build the farm, be near a farm. Like, so, you, food will always be a question about it. Always be a question about it. For, I mean, in fact, food is the most important thing. Like, it will always be, be the most important thing. In your life. Other than, you know, marriage. And I would, and I'm one of the few who would actually, uh, consider replop, repopulating the earth as one of the must do's. Well, let me, five ways that, that could cause a zombie podcast. Let's listen to that real quick. Did I just? Okay. I paused it for some reason. I don't know. Turn it up the. One, Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii is a neat little brain parasite that primarily infects rats. Once infected, it manipulates the brain of the rat. Instead of being fearful of and running away from cats, the rat starts to seek out cats. Huh? Studies have shown that the Toxoplasma gondii infected rats are attracted to the smell of cats and cat urine. Infected rats like to approach cats and be killed or eaten by them. Then the parasite moves to the cat where it can breed. There have also been cases of Toxoplasma gondii infecting humans who presumably got it from their cats. So far, there haven't been any conclusive links between abnormal human behavior and Toxoplasma gondii carriers. Yet. By the way, more than 60 yeah, million people yeah. in the United States alone may be infected with the Toxoplasma parasite. Good luck sleeping. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. are giraffaga. Afraid of wasps? Good. Now you're going to be Why is it humping the tree? What the fuck? The tropical wasp species, Hymenopinosis I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me... a parasite in the street. Let me go back to that real quick. What the fuck did I just hear? Got it from their cats. So far, there haven't been any conclusive links between abnormal human behavior and Toxoplasma gondii carriers. Yet. By the way, more than 60 million people in the United States alone may be infected with the Toxo... Ha! <laughs> Your 60 million, 60, 60 or 6 million. Well, oh my god, sir. Oh my god, yep. There's still gonna be a zombie apocalypse, no doubt about it. I mean, I honestly have no fear, but like, the only thing that I like, like I said in, in my last video on this topic, my plan would be you know, to gather as many survivors as I can to make a military. Or, you know, uh, to, instead of fighting each other, I would, I'd fight the, uh, apocalypse. And, like, I would make, like, that's the thing. Like, like I said, food will always be a problem, so it's, it'll be good to keep them in. To only do guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare. Plasma parasite. Good luck sleeping. Two, Hymenopinesis argiraphaga. Afraid of wasps? Good. Now you're going to be terrified of them. The tropical wasp species Hymenopinesis argiraphaga is a parasite in the strongest sense of the word. These wasps target orb weaver spiders and use them as hosts for their young. When it comes time to lay their eggs, the female wasp will search for an orb weaver, sting it, which paralyzes the spider, and lay her eggs on the spider's abdomen. If that sounds bad, it gets worse. Not long after the eggs are laid, the larvas hatch and stay attached to the spider, sucking its blood. Several weeks of this and the larvas begin injecting an as-yet-known chemical into the spider. 
The chemical takes over the spider's brain and it begins weaving a cocoon for the larvas. Once hmm. the cocoon is finished, the brain-controlled spider just sits inside of it, waiting for the next phase of the larvas to molt. When the newly molted larvas arrive, they eat the spider and spend their next weeks in the cocoon. A few years later, the larvas become adult wasps and everything starts all over again. Yet another reason to carry bug spray all of the time. Yeah. 3. Ophiocordyceps Ophiocordyceps is a genus of parasitic fungus whose species attack different species of insects in the jungles of Africa. For ants, the spores of the fungus infect individuals and take over their brains. The fungus instructs the ant to climb up the stalk of a plant and attach itself to the underside of a leaf, about 25 centimeters above the ground. That's when the ant dies and the fungus begins to grow a stalk right out of the head of the dead ant. After a few days, when the stalk is fully grown, it unleashes more deadly spores and the process begins again. Could Ophiocordyceps fungus eventually evolve to infect humans? That's the plot of the post-apocalyptic video game, The Last of Us. So, maybe. Four, oh, I'm horsehair seeing worms. Of horsehair worms are horrifying parasites. Their eggs are laid in fresh water where they circulate looking for a host, usually an insect that drinking thing. water. Once they enter the host, they begin to mess with the brain. For several weeks, nothing out of the ordinary ha- I think Lord Vegeta, Prince, sorry, Prince Vegeta, his, he does the game on his, uh, YouTube channel. I, I have, I'll, I'll have to look. I'll have to look at the last of us see. Happens. Then, as the larvae develop and they are ready to hatch, they compel their host to put itself in danger out in the open. The goal is to have the host come across a body of water and drown. When the host is dead in the water, the mature worms emerge. Don't worry, horsehair worms mainly infect insects. But there have been documented human infections too. Oops. Five. This my nigga said oops. Ha! <laughs> Bath salts. We all remember the infamous Miami cannibal attack that happened back in 2012. A naked Rudy Eugene left viciously attacked 66-year-old homeless man Ronald Popo, then gnawed off his face in the process. Yeah, it's believed that Eugene was under the influence of bath really salts at the time of the attack. Popo barely survived the attack and is now completely blind. Sadly for us zombie apocalypse spec- Sorry, if you didn't hear me, I, I, I was trying not to talk over the video, but I said uh, there was- there's another video with which is Tin Way. So there's um, so like literally a lot of videos go on more and more and yeah. Anyway, oh, can okay, I? Let's. Sorry, just trying to. Okay, let's go back. Taters, it's hard to tell if the bath salts made Eugene want to eat human flesh or if he was already mentally unstable. In either case, it's probably a good idea to stay away from bath salts and bath salt enthusiasts. While it's significantly more likely that the world will end in a mushroom cloud or a climate change induced environmental disaster, you should never rule out a zombie apocalypse. After all, never. there are quite a few members of the animal kingdom that abuse the ability to zombify other creatures. Humans may be next. We are Thank next. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking. Damn, she had big chicks. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, let me do the 10 types of zombies. Uh, bleh, sorry. Mm. Oh, oh, I, I'm going to let you go. Uh, but I honestly think there's more than 10 types. Just gonna repeat that. If I didn't say it already, there are more than 10 types. Of zombies. And I will tell you after the video. Alright. Alright, let's do it in the zombie players and just delete the zombies from it. Whoa! That won't let you go. Uh, search, please. Okay, let me put by the U.S. military. Or recognized by the U.S. Uh, you, can I put U.S.? That 
Die. Space. Okay. We're back. I don't know how to spell recognize this. Shit! Yeah, let's just do US Army. Eleven types of zombies. Ten types of zombies play zombie players. Oh yeah, we all know the common okay, yeah. I'll have to really speed through this this one violin. You wake up one day and Enters mm -hmm. to the complexities of developing realistic response plans to a variety of contingencies. Because of the threat of war plans being made public, the instructors behind the original Con Plan 8888 exercises wanted to use a completely fictional scenario, rather than using realistic scenarios with real nations that could be misconstrued in the public eye as an actual war plan. Because the U.S. military... Yeah, I'm going to tell you that these are literally just the basic zombies. ...that it's a credible and fully functional plan. If zombies ever did kick off an apocalypse, Con Plan 8888 would be there to save the U.S. from extinction. So what does Con Plan 8888 involve? First, the plan addresses the threats from a variety of different types of zombies. First is the PZ, or pathogenic zombies. These are zombies who are created after a host is infected by a virus, bacteria, or other form of contagion. Next, like in ev literally every movie we've seen, there are RZs, or radiation zombies. These are zombies. Again, just like any movie we've ever seen. It's created by extreme exposure to electromagnetic and or particle radiation. EMZs are evil magic zombies. Or uh, we have mo so some of the movies we've seen. Or zombies created by an evil occult force. SZs, or space zombies, are zombie life form. Oh, that was more. But space zombies, really, let's keep it real. That originate from outer space. I mean, I guess, I guess that is a uh, chance, but I'll tell you guys in a sec. Or created by the toxic contamination of the Earth's environment by an extraterrestrial source. WZs, or weaponized zombies, are zombies that have been... Which we've really, we've only seen in, um... Weaponized, we've only seen in... What's Umbrella, Umbrella Core, Umbrella Core? Uh, I forgot the, the name of the show. Evil, Evil... Resident Evil, sorry. Which we've only seen in Resident Evil, really? Developed in a lab somewhere to be used as military weapon. Perhaps deployed by a foreign adversary. Resident SIZs Evil. are symbiont-induced zombies, or zombies who are created by the introduction of a symbiont life form into a healthy host. The symbiont keep... Like we've only seen in a few movies. It's the host alive, but acting as its personal puppet. VZs, or vegetarian zombies, are zombies who do not feed on flesh, human or otherwise, but rather who feed on plant life. So seen in no movie ever. I mean, they'll on it. I mean, te I mean, the technically the food supply would. Uh, I mean, technically they would still kill us just because they only go for for this food supply, but. If humans didn't need to eat, they could literally get get along with with the last with those vegetarian zombies. Such as zombies from the Plants vs. Zombies series. Or vegan zombies. These are video games. These zombies pose just as great a threat to humanity. No, they don't. Due to their appetite for vegetation, which can cause massive deforestation and the destruction of food crops. Last. That's why we are foresters. We can literally replant the shit. We can also, you know set up a way where zombies are just secluded until we can get to well you know where where the where the mo movie where the movie a zombie is you know disney zombies plan address the threat posed by czs or chicken zombies which are the because motherfucker only type of zombie that actually exists these zombies are sorry i'm in a little i'm kind of in a bad mood because i I've been overworked for from for like uh half a year. No, almost half a year now. No, more th more than a year now and I have to be at work tomorrow. 
before, so, or in a few hours. Produced when chickens are improperly euthanized with carbon monoxide and left in a pile of... I thought he said weaponized for some reason, I don't know why. ...bodies, only for the still living chicken to crawl its way out of the pile and walk around until organ failure kills it. Next, the plan moves on to discuss the effect of environment on... Okay, that was pretty much it. So let me... Let me tell you why they're, they're, they're all basically the same type of zombies, because literally every movie had been, you know, the slow staggering, and then books. Books are really the ones where I'm getting this uh, from. They, um... I mean, there could be, uh... <laughs> there could be, uh, zombies that run, zombies that can cast spells. They're gonna, they're gonna be zombies, you know, that explode when dead, creating more zombies, or, you know, just explode. Uh, like, there, there's million, there's like, there's like, literally hundreds and hundreds of more types of zombies. Now, uh, the very last thing I want to say is, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I will continue doing YouTube videos. I really will. I, 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 I it doesn't matter if I have to become a, in a, so if I have to work for Duke Energy just to get the power on that, or you know, keep stick stick for with virus, rise and wireless just to get internet, I will still be doing the videos. Anyways, I uh, love you guys. Thank you guys for being here today. And if it really is a zombie apocalypse, you can count on me to beat the shit out of any zombie in my that come comes in my way. And that the and that the promise. I will. I will also uh, become a, I really want to become a neurologist just to see what happens to the brain during um, the process of a zombie. I, I would like to have help uh, and the way to stop the um, apocalypse, you'd have to be a someone who you'd have to, you need the following type of doctors, you would need a neurologist. Uh, well, actually, every type of doctor. Because while some actually, um, I mean, even though physicians don't wouldn't really do much, all they do is what checkups. I think from what I from what I know from what I know don't 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 hit me. But from what I know, is all they do is checkups. But then there's surgeons, which you would also. Which only do surgery, um, but you would need neurologists, uh, people who, mostly people who do vaccine, uh, vaccines, and you would need really every, any, every, every type of doctor, Inclu not including, including and not including theurologists, ther physicians, and a few others that, that are really everyday, everyday doctors. And by everyday doctors, I mean therapists and, and checkup doctors. And others. That's really all I have to say about the zombie apocalypse because I've, because, uh, it'll hopefully never happen. But, it, but if it does, you can count on me to sacrifice myself. Like my plan is to, you know. Oh, a greater group of people together have an endless supply of uh, of um an endless supply of weapons, ammo, you know, and uh, everything else, and making a lot of noise so I can draw them all to one place and kill them all. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Oh, all right. All right, good night. <sighs> now I'm playing. Uh, I'm not going to leave you guys while I go to sleep. All right. Man, this. All right. That's been the Weird Kid Kev with a zombie apocalypse shit. I mean, uh... Zombie Apocalypse Edition. Um, I mean, I might. I mean, if you guys suggest start suggesting shit, uh, I wouldn't have to be. I wouldn't have to, you know, 
wait so long to to uh, come out with videos because I, 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 I don't know what to say. And I, I do this, I mean, I end up doing this when I want to and not when you guys want to. Be but, you know, until I get some comments in the section, like my phone, you know, starts blowing up with them. Then the then I'll have to you know keep doing it when I feel like. Also with work, uh, I might be on be rarely because I am because um gonna be working more. I mean I don't have a problem with the, of work so which is fine which is fine with me and my boss too I guess. <laughs> Um, you made it look so easy in the actual packing. Damn, how do you fold this shit to make it all fit? Um, I bought a gun, like a fake. Before y'all start start saying anything, it's fake. The good the gun's fake, I and mean, it's not going to kill you. Nor, nor, nor. Sorry, I have to repeat that. Nor will I go out, play play with it like it, it it is a real gun. I do have limits, and I will exercise all of those limits to the best of my ability. I will not play. I will not play around with it. I will not um. Threat to someone with it. I will not do anything that that could, that could cause it to be taken away from me and it and for me to end up in jail. I will exercise. I will exercise my my rights as a United States citizen. But I will also keep in mind. Keep, oh, here it is. <laughs> I've been looking for this because I had a breast teeth. But I will also um not do anything to disturb the peace and the rights of my fellow American citizens and all that stuff. So. Sorry, I, I'm in the dark real quick. Throwing something away. But anyways, uh, sorry, sorry guys, sorry for that, guys. I, I had to, um, you know, make that little speech there, just because of the troubling times. I don't want, um, if someone, um, if someone like see me with a gun. Oh, wrong one. I, 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 I'll, I will. I can just, just show them this video. They be like, oh, okay. I, and and they'll under and hopefully they'll understand that I'm serious. Although I'd have to do do quite a lot of 